Pathmark is the intelligent tool for website lead generation. With increasing online competition, over 98% of website visitors don't convert. The ability to successfully show your value proposition and support visitors on the buying journey separates you from the competition online. Pathmark qualifies and converts leads on your website by figuring out where they are in the buying journey and influencing them in key decision moments with relevant micro experiences like case studies, intro videos, and much more. Stay relevant to your visitors and increase conversions by 50%. Add Pathmark to your website in seconds. Let the AI do all the work and get access to 50% more qualified leads while you keep doing marketing and sales as usual. Check us on pathmonk.com. Welcome to today's episode. Let's talk about today's guest. We have Christian Hawkson from the Engine Nordic. How are you doing today, Christian? I'm doing good, thank you. Uh, and that's always good talking to you. And uh, it's it's great to have you on today's show. And uh, well, I'm I'm sure our listeners are tuning in, wondering what the Engine Nordic is all about, and who better to give us a little bit more than you being the founder and CSO there for uh, for the Engine Nordic. So tell us a little bit more. Um, we date back quite a long. Is it like this? It's a little rich history. Uh, we are pre pre two thousand. Google is starting. Uh, I'm an engineer uh, programming, playing around with uh, reverse engineering Google and thinking about how Google works and search for that matters. Um, and uh, uh, it kind of takes off from there. It's like curious interests into what is actually happening in, in the world of, of digital and realizing that having knowledge of how um, how the digital environment works, whether that is uh, uh, software or anything else like that, uh, is just interesting to see that side of marketing. And then it develops. It develops uh, into uh, marketing uh, or performance, SEO, uh, strategy, business, uh, uh, different CMS systems, and all these different things that, that are then a part of, of becoming a proper mature uh, marketing agency. Okay, awesome. And, and so that way our listeners are tu- who are tuned in, Christian, can get a good understanding there of the Engine Nordic. What would you say is that key problem that you guys like to solve for clients? Uh, well, um, if, I, if I just take one problem, I, it, it's, a, it's a bit like um, we focus a lot on B2B, business to business, and we have been doing that for a long time. Uh, we focus a lot on identifying opportunities for, for our clients. Uh, and then using that account based marketing as a part of it. So we, we might have a client that maybe ha- maybe has 40 potential uh, customers in, in, in globally. So because their 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 their, uh, their services are so niche, uh, and there therefore we built up what we call the product toolkit or the service toolkit. And that that kit is basically everything a, a, a brand has to have to be able to succeed in in communicating and and, and and uh, um, and so that, that's that's kind of what we are fo- what we focus on. Definitely. Okay, that's important uh, to tier. So then, um, is there a certain then vertical segment? Is there an ideal ICP for the Nordic uh, engine? No, not necessarily. We 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 are. So if you look at the 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 way that the team is compiled, this is a lot of senior people that didn't been doing this for a long time. Uh they so we. You could say that the ICP is 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 more based upon the challenge that, rather than the actual uh, sector that they might belong to. So, the harder the challenge is, the, the more we like the project. Definitely. Okay. Great. Great. Great to hear that. And so then, how would somebody usually find out then about the the engine Nordic? Is there a top client acquisition channel for you guys? Um, well, we're a little bit lucky when it comes to that. There are two things that, that play a role here. Firstly, uh, we are quite good at what we do, and therefore word of mouth plays a bit important role. We have re- we, clients that repeat uh, uh, repeat uh, uh, business with us again and again. If they move to another company, they tend to come to us, and that in itself is a is a quite kind of good uh, uh, way of getting a new business because you know the people you're working with and working for. Uh, the second one is then is that the engine was acquired by TBWA and, and, and which is a part of Omni Group, Omnico Group, and and because of that we get clients in through the 
through the network. So we are we are uh, uh, part of the Nordic alliance be- uh, between TVWA agencies, and and that that also is quite important for us. Um, other than that, we do speak. We are speaking. I, I speak quite a lot uh, um, in co- at conferences, uh, um, and then of course LinkedIn and then different things like that. But but all in all, it it, it happens naturally. It's just, yeah, I, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does. It does, and I think that that's a really nice, right? I mean, more than ten years uh, that there uh, from, from the engine Nordic, so that's really good. Good, good to hear. Um, so. Uh, so that way, our listeners who are tuned in, then Christian can go ahead and visit you. They could always check you out at theenginenordic dot com. What role does a website then play for client acquisition? Uh, so, firstly, the the you could say that the website is the copper child. It's 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 it 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 is. We have a challenges, and we are as often uh, things are might might be better than they are. Uh, it, it plays a role, of course. If there's an information information on the website which we use uh, to kind of push out uh, our our uh, uh, kind of messages, uh, so it's a part of the whole acquisition uh, 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 process. Uh, and in there, we are using tools like uh, Snitzer or also these lead lead generation tools. And we have, uh, of course, uh, kind of look into tools like HubSpot and so on. So these are. Kind of this connect with them if we're running any LinkedIn campaigns or if we are IP targeting companies or if we are whatever, uh, and then of course SEO as a part of it. Uh, so there, there, there is it's a mix of that, but the website itself um, plays a role. But it might be surprising that it's not maybe the biggest role of of where we get our needs from. So it's 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 an it's, it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting paradox you might say for a digital a digital marketing company or fo- company that focuses so much on digital marketing nothing part okay awesome awesome um and, and so then is there any tools or tips or methods that you would recommend to our listeners as far as some website lead generation uh, I, I would say the 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 foundation would be to try to understand who is on your website like if you're a b2b company and let, let's take uh, one of the clients I was mentioning earlier. They they roughly have about 45, 50, maybe 14, 50 companies globally that they can work with. So for them, it's not a master, it's not a question about getting a lot of visits to the website. It's just about getting the right visits to the website and being able to see those visits, who comes in, what do they do, and then use some kind of a qualifying method. Uh, you can uh, like if you look at IQLs, for example, information qualified leads versus market qualified leads, and so on, and try to have a system in place where you identify where those companies are in the cycle, and then potentially have something like BAT or something which you work with, uh, uh, which is the words budget authority and, and and so on and so on, and and that also helps you qualify the lead when it comes in, so when it becomes either sales qualified or market qualified. Definitely some some great tips there for, for our listeners. And Christian, well, let's switch gears a little bit then. And let's talk about you as a leader, you being the founder and uh, CSO there for the Nordic Engine. What are some key tasks you like to focus on your day-to-day work? Um, identify challenges, identify opportunities. Um, being a technologist, I, I love looking at, uh, like AI for me is just like a... <laughs> A new frontier that certainly came out of the blue, uh, uh, not out of the blue, but but it came certainly there quite fast in, much faster than I expected, uh, and and so that's actually quite interesting, um, and, and also try to figure out challenges uh, uh, with the connection between sales and marketing, how you're able to, um, there's always often this gap, even even if sales and marketing is supposed to be kind of joint at the hip. Uh, and they should understand who does what, uh, and 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 marketing is kind of leading the the top end of the funnel and and and, and creating all these opportunities while sales takes the lower end of the funnel and, and closes the deal. Uh, so that's something which I, I keep uh, focusing on and trying to understand how I can how I can uh, uh, crack that side of the uh, of the uh, of the equation. Definitely. So yeah, look at technology. That I, I love that. That's awesome. and, and that's also why I'm here because I had been looking at Pathmark, for example, and, I, and 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 you guys reached out to me, and of course, then I researched the company, and 
there's a lot of interesting things happening now, and it's, it's happening at an, at, a, at an accelerated rate far beyond uh, what I, I, I had hoped for, um, specifically in the one last, last one and a half year. Definitely. Yep. Yep. W would agree with you. So I uh, thank you so much for, for, for sharing that uh, with everybody and check us out as, as well. Right. So thank you. Um, and well, let's jump in, Christian. Let's jump into our next section then here, which is a rapid fire question rounds. Are you ready for them? <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, first off then, uh, Christian is what is the last book that you read? The last book? Yes. Um, it's actually a book about, um, 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 uh, a accident or 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 a or a crisis that happened in the 1960s, when uh, a trawler, Icelandic trawler, went into the sea and then they lost a lot of lives were lost, and it it is is related that my to the fact that my father was on another trawler, uh, uh, or ship that was a fish, fishing boat, and they managed to make it, and I didn't know that background of of, of my dad until recently. And and therefore I, I decided to study it a little bit. So the last book I read is, is an Icelandic book about uh, uh, this situation that came up. Very nice, nice, great, great, great read there for, for our listeners. Next up then is what is one single thing that the engine Nordic is focused on at the moment the most? Uh, we are very much focused on uh, Odin. So Odin is a tool that we have with we've been doing for now for some years. Uh, uh, is a, is a, is called it stands for online data uh, information and numbers, and what we work with it, we look at it, we take all the data we can find around our clients and and, and competitors, and then we've been building up uh, um, automation and reporting. Now with the add-on of AI, we have seen wondrous things because our foundation was quite strong in this in uh, in the recast of the system. So now what we're seeing is that. Is that the the system that we had built and started building like yeah two three years ago, uh, is now opening up completely different uh, uh, worlds for us, which we didn't foresee, uh, because we hadn't thought about it like that. But so that that has kind of a lot of attention from us now, and and one of that is building ICPs and 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 and, and personas by by building pulling in data and automating the process. Okay, great, great, great to hear there uh, about Odin there. Uh, next, then, is if there would be no boundaries in technology, what would be that one thing that you want to have fixed for your role as a marketer today? Well, um, uh, I, I would have wanted to fix uh, the boundaries between what uh, GTPR has brought versus how it was before. And I think the, the while GTPR is, is an important part of privacy, it also takes away a lot of data that we'll be able to work with to target audiences back to. So it takes away a little bit of the quality we have in regards of, 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 of targeting uh, different types of audiences and how we do that and so on. Uh, so that that might be one. Uh, uh, but in reality, I, I actually, it's a really good question. I, I So that, that one comes to mind. Okay. Yeah, great, great, great there for, for, for some great, great uh, technology there. Then next uh, uh, is, if there would be one piece of advice that you would give yourself, Christian, if you were to restart your journey as a marketer today, what would that be? Um, uh, focus less on attribution and more on econometrics. That would be kind of something with, I, 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 I'm an, I, coming from the technology side and moving into marketing, um, uh, I, in the beginning, was quite focused on attribution modeling, so last click, first click, whatever, and so on. But it wasn't until I started working more in the advertising industry that I realized how important econometrics are and how the overall understanding of the impact of the work that you do has to be taken into account instead of measuring the last click or whatever that is. So that is one tip that I would have given myself earlier on. Um, great. There, there, there are tips. Love it. Um, and well, uh, Christian, we are coming to the end of our show today. But before we do, Ed, I do want to give you the last word. Say someone forgets everything about the interview today. What is that one thing they should remember about the Engine Nordic? Um, the Engine Nordic is an Iceland-based company. 
And I think what is most important to have in mind about that is that Iceland is a country of what, 400,000 people plus minus. We have our own language and that language was spoken by the Vikings thousand years ago. So we can still, technically we can still go thousand years back in time and we can talk to the Vikings and then, and they, as long as we don't use modern words uh, uh, in it that we could get by and then we can still live, read some of our literature. Um, also, what is important to have in mind that Iceland, uh, that Nordic is also a group of uh, um, people that have been doing this for a long time. And majority Icelanders tend to be extroverts. So we are quite easy to get to know and, 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 and work with. Uh, so that uh, maybe that sums it up. We just like we just like what we do, basically. Definitely important, right? And I mean, more, uh, almost eleven years, so you're doing something, right? So uh, uh, actually, much more. The company the, I've been doing this for twenty five years, oh, plus. Wow. So, and the company was founded in two thousand and four. Uh, uh, so the the, the uh, engine engine it becomes we re, we rebrand engine into engine in two thousand and thirteen, was the fourteen. Uh, yeah, so that's yeah, roughly 10, 11 years. But it was called Nordic e marketing before that. So, so we rebranded when we started to expand into other markets. Great, great, great to hear. That's awesome. And you guys have done a great job. So, uh, it, it's, it looks really good. And well, Christian, we, uh, it, it has been a pleasure to have you on. Like you mentioned, a lot of experience. Do appreciate you being on with us today. I also want to thank our listeners for tuning in. And I'm looking forward to our next episode at Pathmonk Presents. Thanks a lot, Christian. Thank you. <laughs>